Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is the Ndlovu's Uncut and you know what time it is, what day it is. Yes, T-G-I-F. Thank you God it's know. Friday. But um, as you can see, I've got a new cleaner in the house. <laughs> I'm oh. kidding. Okay, I'm no, not yeah. rolling with my wife, but I am rolling with, um, with a very, very interesting gentleman who we shall get to know today. Some of you might know who this man is, but if you don't know, you are about to find out. But before we find out, it's your boy Ungar and I'm chilling here with Sandy Le Mahlangu. This is Vendlovu's Uncut. Boom, 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 boom. Harmonize. I got you. Great. I, got you. I want you guys to put my name like bigger than anybody else. And it as well must be like Sunday Lamb underscore. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Anyways, yes, I okay. just wanted to give that disclaimer. Yeah, it wasn't in my contract. It wasn't in the contract, but I'm putting it in now. Now they know. Okay, so yeah. talking about Sunday Lamb Shango, all big and bold. Quickly, in a very short, brief kind of a situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is Mr. Sunday Lamb Shango? Ah, Sanbon and Makaya, my name is Usandi Le Mashango, and I am an actor, presenter, model, electrical engineer, um, educator as well. I am from Mkipek and Bumalanga, that is where I come from. I studied in, in, in Pretoria, the University of Techno Technology, Kilhali. Hold up, wait a minute. You're gonna have to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> you will definitely have to cut that. That's in my contract. You cut out my mistakes. <laughs> they must be cut. <laughs> so I studied electrical engineering at TUT. Mm -hmm. um, I then decided that, uh, well, I, you know, faith had it that I then had to want to do, you know, acting. It sure. sort of saved me from 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 poverty. Um, yeah. And so yeah, I moved to Johannesburg. Sorry to cut you off. Talking about it saved you from poverty. So there was this one interview where I heard you speak about like how. You were literally like broke. There's something like that. Right. Like you were literally broke. Yeah. Um, and you were like contemplating: Do you do you buy like electricity? Oh yeah. Do you boil the water? Oh do you, yeah. Oh. You know, like what? Bro. What's that story? How? What? Like what was that all about? Dude. Okay. So um, I have to start it a bit. Like, yeah. Take, take it back. Yeah. Take okay. It back. Cool. So so what I did was um, you know you know places like Middleburg, you know you know people are taken from school. Then they're gonna go get taught, you know, how to be electricians, how to sure. be boiler makers, how to be fitters and turners. And so I was one of the lucky ones who was good at maths and science. So a company took me, and they taught me, you know, the, the generics, and then they taught me how to do electricity, how to connect and such and such. They called it an apprenticeship. And so I was doing that right until I went to the mines, and then an incident happened in the mines that so got you were me. Working in the mines. I was working in the mines in the northwest. In the northwest, uh, it was a, it was a chrome mine, and so I was working there as an electrician, and then something happened happened right uh, I nearly died and then I had to go back home right and so now I'm home hmm. and and it now I have to make decisions because like I need to continue with my life and so I was working as you know the house cleaner for, for like six months at home not knowing what to do and then I decided no I should go back to school hmm. so when I got to school when I, when I convinced my parents to allow me to go to school I had already applied and I was already accepted by the way and so they just said, okay, cool, listen, we don't have uh, money to send you to school, so you're going to need to find your way, you know. And I said, well, look, I'll go find a bursary or something, and I found, like, somebody who could pay for my tuition. Mm -hmm. But they couldn't pay for my, for my, for my rent and, and groceries and all the other things. And so when I got to Varsity, it was just a little, it was actually very tough because my parents were also, you know, taking care of my little, my little sister, my little brother. Mm -hmm. They were not ready for me to go to Varsity. Uh, they didn't have the money. And so I had to live off of what they could send me, you know. So some, some months they'd cover the rent, other months it's a little tricky. I need to find a way to make money so I can pay my rent. And so, yeah, that one fateful um, month, the guy that I lived with, um, I think I'll give him credits, Joseph. <laughs> so what, what the brother would do, um, and this is, look, I mean, I guess he was frustrated too. I'm not going to paint him as the bad guy. I mean, he was probably frustrated too of having to carry me around all the time. And so whenever he got like paid and I hadn't gotten money, he'd leave, right? Mm. And he'd go to like his friend's place <laughs> and he'd stay there for like a week. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so glad that this is a very funny story. I'm, sorry, I'm just trying to think like what he was processing through like, yeah, so, you know, some money. Yeah, yeah. there's this hungry, this hungry <laughs> guy in the, in the house. I'm just going to be like, out. So, so he'd leave for like a week and I'm here not without, without any money. And mm, yeah, I mean, like he was probably like, you know, going through the most as well. We can never mm. really judge from our perspectives. And so uh, that day specifically, 
I remember I was writing a test the next day and, and, and uh, there was literally one or two kilowatts of electricity left on the, on the meter and I did not have money to buy like electricity, yeah. right? And I was hungry at the time and so um, I remember having to make a decision, do I, do I, do I cook macaroni, there was like some crunchy macaroni in the, in the, in the, in the pantry or do I, do I, do I boil water the next morning so I can go to school and, you know, just like maybe one or two kettles sure. so I can go to school and write the test. And I had to make that decision and I decided to, 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 to boil the water and not go to school looking ashy, you know, because you always got to maintain the trip, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. so, so this means that you had some dry macaroni. Bro, let me tell you something, bro. When I told my mother the story, man, she teared up. That's just deep, bro. That's deep. But I woke up in the next morning and I went uh, to, to go write the test and I remember that's when I started to say affirmations in my head mm. I think that's when I learned affirmations actually so I'm walking as I'm going to the bus you know T2 you gotta walk to the bus and then I remember saying this to myself that it's always um, the, you know, it's always the darkest night before the brightest dawn and I kept on saying that as I'm walking that's something that I was repeating to myself sort of convincing myself that yeah. that it's okay sure this is not where it ends yeah this is leading to somewhere, sure. and that's where I became. I fell in love with affirmations. Um, yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far. I hope you guys are having a great Friday. Please let us know what you think of the video so far. Comment down below. So right now we're about to get into the game. You guys really like. like <laughs> you guys really like YouTube it out, yeah? Yo, man, Jeez, we like got to tell the experience, <laughs> man. Man got experience, man. Just like in the middle of an interview, go back into the people and be like, anyways. Down this is low. where we at. This is where I we at. I also saw that you guys have that. Awesome. So that basically means you subscribed and you clicked on that notification bell. So we're about to get into a game. Steph set this up, just so you know, and she's behind the camera if you're wondering where Steph is. I know you guys love Steph, but today you've got two guys. Ah, there you go. <laughs> so we've got numbers 1 to 15. So apparently if you choose to not... Listen, me and you are in the same boat. I don't know what's here, but I can smell coffee. Oh. I definitely smell coffee. Oh, so it's different. Yeah, um... so it's different stuff. Oh, um, okay. I've yeah, been, like, as well, I, I smell this I, side. I, I, I even see coffee. like some and, soda. And the game is, babe, the game is answer or drink. Answer or drink. Yeah. Answer yes. And if drink. you don't answer, then you, you drink. drink. Then you choose a number from 1 to 15. And then you take and that, then number, you take and you that number out and then you drink it if you don't manage okay. to answer the question. Okay. Or you don't want to answer the question. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Do okay. we have like a time limit? We've to got answering? a time limit. Yes, we do. Okay, I think it's what? Five seconds. Five seconds. Okay, cool. All right. So, yeah, so Steph will ask. Uh, I'll be asking the question. Okay. Yeah. And then, are we doing it at the same time, or are yes. we going to individually? Um, let's do it individually. Okay, All right, cool. right. Cool. let's do a rock, paper, scissors, who's starting? Uh, okay. Best <coughs> out of one. I suck at this. Everybody knows that I suck at this. They do. They, if you watch Young Jens Living... So the gentleman over here are about to play rock, paper, scissors to see who's going to give me back action. Okay, back action is rubbing sunscreen on my back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fine. I don't care. You back, back, back action. Action. Stop it with Two your times toxic, in a row. toxic masculinity, <laughs> man. Uh, and I get very emotional. I get very. Is it like just like one? Just one, just one round. Okay. Just one round. Huh? Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, I knew it! 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 I knew it. I never win at this. I don't okay, know so what I'll it is. You, what is it? You'll go first. So Steph's gonna ask you the question first. Okay, Steph. Yeah. Are right. you ready, Sandula? Name three ways to say thanks in three different languages. Ooh. Okay, all right. Uh, thanks. Yeah, boom. Time. Kalibu. <laughs> Kalibu. <laughs> okay, very best. After the time. Right. One to fifteen. What number are you take? Seven. Seven. Cool. Take the number off and go for it. I don't like that. Looks color. like coffee or something. Oh, is this espresso? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I don't know, bro. It tastes like. You know Tim Chan? What Tim Chan? You don't know Tim Chan? Guys, what's Tim Chan? Come on, guys. guys what's Tim Chan? Chan? You don't know Tim, Tim, Tim Chan, bro. It's Tim like Tim Chan. this thing that was always in the fridge, your grandma's fridge. This green herbal thing, this elixir that they'd give you, like, you know, a teaspoon. Uh, Drink this. No. And then you'll be, you'll be pooping all day. Kungani, <laughs> name three reasons to avoid someone you know. Um, an argument uh, if you don't like them, if they owe you money. Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. All right. I like this game. 
Okay, have you ever wanted to try LARP live action role play? Yeah, I have. I have. Come on, you know. Okay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Comic Con guy, yeah. you know, like definitely. Name three violet things. Ooh. Violet? What the hell is it? Uh, uh, flowers, a, a couch, cushions, drinks. Drinks, eh? <laughs> It actually, that was actually a very tricky question. Yeah. Because it could have been, there's a lot of violet things. But should they be like violet, violet specific? Or like a chair could be violet. Yeah. Yes. Or do you want, yeah, right? Just anything. Oh. Three things that could be I violet. Took what? Number 10. You took number ten. ten. Ah, this that's, looks like what did you Dim say? Jan, bro. Dim Jan. This looks like Dim Jan. Yeah, you see, it even smells like Dim Jan. That's exactly the reaction that I had. Sandile. So, can't prepare yourself. Bro. Name three things that can only be seen in the night sky. Stars, moon, planets. Okay. Yeah, I mean Venus was was seen just now. Now Mars as well. Name three ways to ruin your reputation. Oh gosh. Uh, scandals, um, lying, um, not pitching up for work. Okay, we'll give you that. That was quick. Okay, okay, we'll give you that That's one. Cool. Yes. Name three reasons to not get out of your bed. Tired. One day is gone. Time. Ah, uh, wow, that was quick. <laughs> that was that? So she, quick. She's trying to give me, okay, I'm going to take two. She's time, 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 time. He took number two. Mm-hmm. That's the cough syrup. That's that cough syrup. Name three things you should bring on a first date. Uh your wallet, your car keys, and your watch. Just on time. Name three ways to avoid the queue at the supermarket. You're sick. Uh you're 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 dancing. You're jumping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? You <laughs> please take a drink. <laughs> Alright, Mgani. Yes. Name three reasons to avoid a Facebook request. Uh, private account. Um, don't have an account. Um, no. No. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying that a person <laughs> sent a request but they don't have an account. <laughs> Look, it's, it's, the okay, it's, it's the time and pressure. It is the time pressure. And her fingers are like, yeah, it's though. the time pressure. And <laughs> I feel like her five seconds is really more like three seconds. Mm -hmm. Guys, my hand is right here. What do you mean? My hand is right I here. I took number right. five. Okay, go for it. Hand. Sandile, name yes. three things we can do without our hands. Soccer. Dancing. Jumping. Yes, yes, it came in handy. You can't, you, you can't jump without your hands. You can't play soccer without your hands. Okay. Why do I need to defend myself, okay. yo? <laughs> okay, okay. And it's funny because these are the same things I said before about the Mugani, name three famous <laughs> soccer players. Uh, Ronaldinho, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, Messi. Okay. Sandile. Name three things to do just before bedtime. Pray, meditate, and drink water. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's gonna be a funny meme thing, man. You're right. It's fact. Name three places to be quiet. Uh, the library, uh, the prayer room, at church. No, I'm not gonna give you that. What? Look at her face. What? She's saying the same thing. The library, the, the prayer room, you gotta be the church. prayer room and church. That's one oh, place, like, sir. No, like the, the prayer, Muslim, Muslim the prayer room. room, yeah. No. You go to the sir. airport, you see prayer room. That's a completely different room. That's not a church. <laughs> okay, I've never been to a lot of airports. I've only been to two airports, three airports in my well, life. They have it at Old Tambo, trust okay, me. They have a okay. prayer room in Old Tambo. They yeah. do. Yo, they guys, do. they're trying to have me Wait, do this. They uh, do. Dim, 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 what, what? I'm not drinking this dim, dim. Okay. Yeah, that was nice. Sandile, <laughs> either answer the following question <clears throat> or have a drink. I'm having a drink. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I could feel with that. Ah. <laughs> I don't even know this question. Okay, Ungani, ah. answer the following question or have mm -mm. a drink. Do you energy? Mm -mm. Ungani, this like was the question <laughs> for Sandile. Okay. How much money yeah. do you currently have in your bank account? Do it. Um, yo, okay, so first of all, I, I got different bank accounts, so <laughs> let's... Okay, let, okay how, mu how much money do you currently have in your savings account? Savings account. Um, are you about to answer that? Are you about to... 
How you asked? But so you gonna you gonna answer? Ah, so so I must drink on okay, behalf answer, of us. What's going on? Okay, so going on okay answer. Of Umpire, okay. umpire is making decisions for you now. Okay, so how much money? Okay, Ungani, how much money do you have in your savings account? So or in drink? my savings account, my savings account, not Steph and I's savings account, because mm. there's different savings accounts. Oh, wow. In mine, okay. we have. Okay, I'm gonna have number fourteen. <laughs> 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 I, you know what? I could feel. Listen, listen. Let me tell. You. I said I would, but the way my bank account is set up, the thing is, I got a check in in the savings. But we all know. Well, maybe some of you don't know, but you probably do know that this gentleman is on Scandal, and he currently plays the role of Simo, Simo Shabangu, yeah. um, <laughs> who obviously had quite a few, if not many, interactions with my character Romeo Midupi. Yeah. I play the character Simo Shabangu. I am the half brother of Obo. If there's one word that I could describe with Simu, it's opportunity. So, you better catch a scandal on ETV weekdays at 7 30 p.m. Um, I just wanted to find out from you because we never really chat about this off work, off set. Like, we never really, you know, have chats. Yeah. Um, what's been, since you've joined the scandal family, what's been like your your lowest moment and what's been like your highest moment whether it's an interaction with someone yeah whether it's something on set what what has that been like i think um what's it, what, what, what she got in her hands baby what's happening now she got in her hands okay but let me answer the question yeah she so so us. so i think my lowest moment um and, I, and i'll be honest right because that's what people want and that's sure. what I, I i like being you know sure. um my lowest moment was when you love, bro. Come on, man. Yeah, for when you left, that was a really low moment for me, especially because of the fact that we just, I mean, you um, sort of, because soapies, mm. that was my first soapy. This, this show was my first soapy, you know, and so I was still getting used to the way things are. <coughs> And and you were sort of like because I know you and you're like a friend of mine. Sure. You were sort of like a pillar in a, in a sense, you know, like a like a you know. Is this is this? I'd ask you questions. I ask some questions, and you'd be like, yeah, that and that and that. And that's why I have so much respect for you, you know, because of the yes. fact that you know um, I like treating people a specific way, especially when I know that they're new to something, yeah. and I like to always make sure that they get a comfortable landing. Right. And that's something he gave me, you know. And 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 that's why I appreciate Ungani. And 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 when you left, man, I felt that, you know, it felt like. Then I needed to just like, oh, I need to. I'm back on a, on a treadmill. I'm on a treadmill now, having to learn everything. And never mind the story, because the story was also like really everybody was just now pushed onto me, and so yeah. I had to really carry the story yeah. just by myself. And and I'd say that was the lowest moment, but it did give me um, a sort of uh, understanding. I was forced to study. You know, I didn't have you to be like, hey, man, so. What's the answer to number two? So, you know what I mean? So, I had to so. figure it out myself. And I think that sort of gave me a nuance and and and, and people noticed the nuance, you yeah. know, that I'm not being helped anymore. I'm being like, I'm really going into it. So sure. I had, I developed nuances on the show and the character also sort of grew. like grew. Yeah, yeah. And I think that was, that was the lowest moment. Highest moment. Highest moment was um, the series producer, uh, you know, Sunny Lezulu pulling yeah. up to me and like, he does what he did. <laughs> <laughs> An entire, you know, like, like, you kind of like, you killed it, bro. Mm. Oh, and then I was like, that's, that's, you know, that's the validation. Sure. Because as, as an artist, you, 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 you give your soul, you give your heart there, yeah. and, 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 I always say this as well that as an actor, and I'm sure other artists as well, but yeah. because I'm in the acting field for the moment, um, we validation is, is is currency. Yeah. I won't lie. Yeah. It's currency. People will come in and tell you, we'll see, no, man, don't even care about it. No, 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 no. It's currency. Um, Kendrick Lamar said it. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what it is. And so for, for Usain Zulu to pull up to me and be like, oh, my nigga! You know how he's speaking. Mm. Yo, yo, you yes, killed, man. you killed it. And as soon as I got that, I was like, oh, thank God. Because, you know, social media can be hard. Mm. Um, social media can be hard, especially if you're like, <laughs> um, when you when you like, because, 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 I'm technically, you know, trying to hold the story sure. after Romeo left, and so everybody's comparing me to the brilliant Romeo sure. who's been on the show for like, you know, that long, and yeah. so I have to carry that weight. And a lot of social media people are very harsh, and they're not, they're not really, you know. Yeah. And then as soon as I did that, said that to me, I was like, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. At least, at least, at least, at least, I'm doing something yeah. right, you know, because I really do scroll. I'm like, ish. 
and you check. Yeah. You guys are horse. Not that it matters, but you can. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, that's the game. Yeah. That's done. That's done. I gotta thank you for joining us on the Glovers and Cut. But before we do wrap up this video, this TGIF, um, what is Sandile Matlango doing right now? Um, I know there was. Um, not there was, but there's another name that's involved within Sandile Mashangu and what do you mean? Vincent. Oh! Do we use Vincent? Do we not use Vincent? Man! What's the deal with Oh uh, man, you know what? Look, let me tell you something, guys. Tell us about this. This is the funniest thing. I've wanted to win an award, like a SAFTA, mm. so I can tell people on that podium, stop using the word Vincent, the name mm. Vincent, you know, and it's not even a it's not even a major thing, sure. name. It's because the thing is oh, Vincenti was a name that I was using in high school. Uh, because in high school, there were a lot of Sandiles, and uh, so my teacher was like, There's too many Sandiles here, um, we'll call you Sandile 1, Sandile 2, Sandile 3. Mm. And, my, and, and my mother came, came like, she, she got my test, and then she's like, why is there Sandile 2 here by name? I think he rated us with like our ages or something, I don't remember. Mm. But it's like Sandile 2, it's like, what the hell is a Sandile 2? What is Sandile 2? And I'm like, well, there's three of us, and, and Sandile Mashangus, by the way, oh, hey. in the same class. Yeah, yeah. and not one was like and not chubby. related. Not related. One not was like related. super chubby. One was like super thin and light skin, and I was just like the middle guy. Maybe that's what he rated us on. Mm. So, so, so my mom was like, that's crazy. No, no, no. We're gonna use the word Vincent, the name Vincent, and and we're gonna stick with that. Okay, cool. And then I changed my name in school as well. They started calling me that. So I took that to train the training center, and then to varsity as well. So what I always give people is like Vincent is my modeling side, right? Uh. I chose to use Vincent because that was the name I came up with. Sure. And so one thing I realized about excuse me about acting is that there's credits. Modeling right. doesn't have any credits. Right. You know, like my parents don't call me Vincent at home. Yeah. Um, they call me Sandile. And so there's credits in acting, different from modeling, whereby you don't even care who's on the show, who's on the mm. ad. So so modeling, I mean acting, Sandile Masango must show up because I remember an incident that happened on Single Guys. I was leading Single Guys at CBC One. Yeah. And my that credit, was a sitcom, right? That was a sitcom, 13 yeah. part, 10 part sitcom. And my name was Vincent Matlango on the sitcom. Mm. And so people were like, hey, who Vincent Matlango was that? You know? No, no, actually, vice versa. My mom would be like, look at my son. Find, like, my son is on a show. Mm. He's leading a show. He told me he wanted to do this acting thing. And you know, going coming from a place like Middleburg, Bumalanga, you know, mining towns, being in the magic box is something that's crazy. Mm. Nobody ever anticipates and thinks about that. Like, you want to be in the magic box? You know, that's crazy. So I was on that magic box and my mom was like, yo, watch my son, his name is Sunny the Masango. Mm. And people were like, you know, were like, no. In the credits. Vincent. Yeah. Yeah, was Sunny, like, there's Vincent here. Then that's when I learned. And people can just check this out as well. It's very true. Mm -hmm. um, the title sequence has Vincent Masango going on. And then immediately after that, I did a film called Shaft Six. Mm -hmm. And on this film, I was calling myself Vincent, but midway through it, because of a friend of mine who lives with Vilagazi, who plays Tiron, it's, it's Tembiso. Sure. I met him there. And so he told me, he's like, bro, ah, man, you should leave the Vincent thing, you know, because yeah. it doesn't make any sense, you know, yeah. coming into skin, it's 10 years old, it doesn't make any sense. So use your Zulu name. Uh, and so I decided to use Sandi. And let's be honest, guys, Vincent Mahlanku doesn't roll off the yeah, tongue better than Sandi Mahlanku. So basically, we can say it, it's official on the Glovo's Uncut. Please. Vincent Mahlanku. How many, how many subscribers? No. Uh, we're almost on 250k. Shout out to the 250,000 people. Let's get to 250. Let's get to 250. I love it because now 250,000 people know sure. it's Sunday the oh, AKA Sunday the M underscore in the cut. Yes, boy. Follow me on Instagram, mm. Twitter, Facebook. It's Sunday the Masango on Facebook. But mm -hmm. still, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm on TikTok too right now. Okay. So I'm doing a little skit, Nyana. Come on. And also on YouTube, follow me as Sandy Le Masango. I got yeah. my little skits that I used to do back then uh, before my creativity got stunted, but that's a whole other shout thing. Shout out to YGL. Shout out to YGL. That's mm -hmm. Young Jens Living. It's me. Okay, Sandy Le Masango, Tabangolaba, Arno Khriaf, Usipo, no, 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 Lunga. Yes, they just joined the new, the new. Right now. But yeah, that's Young Just Living on YouTube. Check it out. It's very nice, very fun. Uh, we're doing very beautiful lifestyle uh, uh, boy guy things. You know what I'm There's saying? There's a lot of boy banter that you'll find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what? You know, I've seen you know some people. It's funny how yeah. people are, right? Like, as soon as it's like a lot of guys having fun, it must be weird, mm. right? Mm. What is that about? It's bromance. You know, bromance is a real thing. Yeah. It's but, very uh, healthy. 
it romance is, healthy. is very healthy. Yeah. Um, that's when we get to discuss the real, the real critical issues that are happening in South Africa. You know what I'm saying? Because as boys, we don't speak. That's very true. Those are those moments to try yes. to find your bromance. You need to start speaking. You do yeah. most definitely. Emotionally, be vulnerable. Be exactly. Okay. With okay. your boys, it's yeah. okay. It, there's nothing wrong about it, and that's what I stand for. I really yeah. do stand for that. Yeah. Like as guys, we need to tell each other that. Look, I respect you. Sure. You know that's my belief that I respect yeah. you. But one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait. Don't yeah. feel weird about it. One, two, three, four, five. That's yeah. how we're gonna grow. That's how we're gonna learn. That's how we're gonna defeat a lot of like PTSD situation. Yeah. A crab needs to shed its shell and be vulnerable so it can grow. A snake needs to shed its skin to be vulnerable so it can grow. Sure. And that's what we need to adapt as humanity. Ah, uh, it's really important. We need to change the narrative. Gentlemen, have those conversations with one another. Don't be scared. Yeah. Be vulnerable. Share your soul with your friends. Sure. Thank you. So you know where to find them on the socials. And Global Gang, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great weekend it is tgif but before we close off what's happening with sandile mashango sandile mashango oh anything new yes. what, what yeah, can we look sandile up yeah what can we well look uh besides scandal it's about yeah. to go down on scandal by the way just check it out Ooh, wow it's a the, the, the story is building up it's crazy it's about to explode also i did a film with uh you know my, my name drop bro yeah, that's okay, okay okay i just did a, a, a film with like the most brilliant people like veterans of the game and sure. they told me so much um i'm gonna name them quick first desmond dube lillian dube on the same show that's crazy lillian dube mamkoni chume um cindy Masangu, uh robert whitehead uh, Michelle Puertes, Nosenzo Hatebe. We did a brilliant uh, film that scares me, but scaring is good. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing. Um, I can't say more than that, but it's gonna be amazing. So watch out for that. And there's a couple of other things that are in discussions that I can't really talk about right now. But sure. the boy will be busy. Oh, the boy will be busy. And Global Gang, thank you so much for joining in. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure that you give us a thumbs up and obviously comment down below. Just let us know if you enjoyed it. Make sure that you share with your friends and family. You never know what could happen. And of course, subscribe if you like this kind of content. People. Dude, that's a lot of people. Click on that subscribe Dude. button. Click on that notification yeah. button to never miss an update. Some shows on TV yeah. don't even get that number. Yo, can you, can that, you imagine? That's deep. No, but on a real, I mean, you've seen yeah. ARs. That's very, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. 250,000 yeah. people is something to be like. Shout out to the Global Gang. TGIF, we are out. Shout out to Sandy Lemachango. Thank you so much for coming through, bro. I Thank really, you, really appreciate sir. it. Steph really, really appreciates it. We are truly grateful for your presence and uh, wishing you all the best. And uh, yeah, man, we love your work. And uh, until next time, you're going to work. You guys are doing the right thing, bro. Boom.